So the way I'm going to talk about man match coverage today is we're going to use a call. I'm just going to give you one call. Okay. Because there are a lot of components within a single call. There's a lot of tools in the toolbox within a single call. So we're going to talk about what uh, I call over bracket. Okay. I've used this call before at high school ball. This call has been used in college ball. There are a lot of names for it, but we're going to talk about playing this particular set of cards. We're going to talk about the top picture first, and I'm going to break down its components, starting with the bracket side and then going to the cut side. Then we're going to go to the bottom picture. We'll go to the steep. We're going to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, stealer, and we're going to talk about cone. So I'm going to break it kind of down into its components. Okay. So let's start with the bracket side. So in terms of how we play bracket coverage, okay, bracket coverage is used in the slot, usually to the side of the passing strike. So the way in which you can decide the passing strength is both uh, field boundary or two and away from the pass. Okay, you can play matchup or non-matchup defense. But once we've determined what the passing strength is, okay, we are going to play bracket to two split receivers. The corner will be playing Meg. Meg stands for man everywhere he goes. Okay, man everywhere he goes. That means he's man to man no matter what. He will be playing inside and on top of number one. The reason we have him play inside and on top of number one is because we do not know if we're going to have help um, from our bracket safety. So we have to play inside and on top so that we can deny the vertical release and cut the receiver off. Okay. Our strong safety is going to have all of two. He will be five by one um, to five by outside shade of number two. You can use, either use a, uh, a catch or a scooch technique. A scooch technique would have your outside foot up, inside foot back. You'd be scooching back like you're playing cover three in the same. Okay. You're going to be reading number three and number two. You're going to have all of two man to man unless three is fast. If three is fast to flat, we will push and take the new two man to man. Okay. We will, what I like to call recount. We will recount. Okay. We're going to be playing outside and low shoulder on the number two receiver. So outside, meaning outside leverage, and low on the receiver. That is what I call our position maintenance. Our position maintenance, which is used both in middle field close and middle field open coverage, is primarily in middle field close, can be used in this particular instance to determine how we play to our help. It's really important that we understand how we play certain route distributions when we play cover seven. It's all about how we bracket receivers to our help. In this case, if I'm a strong safety, my free safety is my help. Okay. My free safety uses what I call a robber principle, a robber principle. So he can be, he'll be 10 by two to a normal split of a number two. If the number two receiver gets uh, displaced, so it has a plus split, the furthest we'll get is an apex between number two and the MMI scrimmage. He's going to read run pass. On pass, he'll snap his eyes to number two. He, for me, he's going to be using a scooch technique. So it's so very similar to the strong safety. He's going to have his inside foot up because that he's inside leverage, and he's going to scooch back key number two. As we can see by the bottom diagram, if two is vertical, we're going to end up bracketing the number two receiver. The free safety, if we play the strong safety outside and low, is going to play inside and on top. When I say somebody is on top of a receiver, we mean we're going to have a cushion of one to two yards from that receiver. Okay. So when we talk about positions on the field, I can be on top of a receiver. I can be in the trail of a receiver. I can be low on a receiver and I can be high on a receiver. The strong safety is going to be low on the receiver, which means he's going to be able to touch that receiver. He's going to have an elbow break. The free safety is going to be on top of the receiver, which means he's going to have a one by one to two by two cushion on that receiver, inside and on top. He'll nail down on any break. So if there's a dig um, or a post concept, he'll end up nailing down on any type of uh, inside break route. Okay. If two is out or two is in, okay, we use a robber principle to double the number one receiver. So he snaps his eyes, snaps his hips to the number one. And he's going to look to rob that receiver from the top down. He will rob that receiver from the top down. Okay. He'll undercut in breaking routes. So he'll rob the post, the curl, the dig, and I will rob the slant. Okay. And he should be playing that receiver 
from top down if you do it that way. The second way that you can play the strong safety and free safety, so I've given you one way, the strong safety is outside alone, the free safety is inside and on top. The second way is to have the strong safety play outside and high on the number two receiver, so high shoulder, okay, high shoulder. And the free safety to play a, a much more aggressive robber principle where now he's gonna undercut routes of number two. So now he's gonna be a flat foot defender as the strong safety scooches out. And his idea is he wants to undercut vertical routes of number two. So the strong safety is playing on top and the free safety is playing low shoulder. Okay, now if I'm playing that way with the free safety and two goes in or out, I will play inside and underneath or inside and low when I go to rob routes of number one when two goes in or two goes out. So you can see the, the diagrams right there, okay? Final guy we wanna talk about is the Mike Backer. My Mike Backer is gonna have all of number three unless three is fast to the flat, okay? He has all of number three man to man unless three is fast to the flat. So if three is fast to the flat, we will push it between the strong safety and the Mike Backer. Okay, we will push it between the strong safety and Mike back and the Mike back will then go cut the number two receiver, which we'll talk about in a second. And the strong safety will come off and take uh, the running back. We will recount. Once we have that dude man to man, he is ours. We do not take another dude man to man once we have him. All right.